stanzas. This is a poem in which Keats recounts his own frustration in love relationship with a woman that he had met on a holiday trip on the coast of Sussex. The lady had not reciprocated his love for her as she had wanted them to stay as simple friends. Many mistake this poem to be about the woman that he had really fallen in love with, that's Fanny Brown. He had actually met this lady a year before meeting Fanny. The speaker begins the poem by castigating the lady's lack of responsive love expression. She is cold in the expression of her sentiments, like a nun who prays inwardly for her personal salvation in a church while the bell is ringing. The speaker reproaches the lady for not expressing her love overtly and for pretending to love him. He says that she cannot reciprocate with a bright smile, but will do so with a faint smile like the rising sun in the month of September. He compares her to St. Cupid's nun, who controlled his weekly smiles. She cannot profess her love for him because she has hardened her lips rather than softened them for romantic kisses. She cannot offer him a genuine kiss that translates to earnest love. She cannot reciprocate his burning desire when he has made her hand to be as stiff as a statue or that of a corpse. The speaker urges her to manifest genuine love, which is reciprocated with sensual smile and quizzing and passionate kisses that unite lovers. The central theme is that of unreciprocated love and unfulfilled desires. The speaker burns with passionate desire for his lady, yet she gives him a cold shoulder. She does not reciprocate with warm smiles or kisses as she is unresponsive to his feelings of passionate love. The speaker captures the lady's detached attitude through the use of imagery. This imagery is used to confirm the lady's responsiveness towards his feelings and the speaker's desire for her to change her attitudes towards him and reciprocate their love. <laughs>